Hey, Mark the Movie Man here, and we're covering the final two films I wanted to look at from the Best of the Fest nominee list for the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. As if you didn't hear from my other episodes, it's September 21st, and it's in Des Plaines, Illinois. Catch it if you can, if you're in the area. If not, go there and catch it. It should be a lot of fun. Now, the first film of the two films I want to cover, uh, they both deal with the same theme, and this one is Night of the 1%. Now, it tells us the story of a guy who does day trading, and he ends up hitting it big. So big, in fact, it moves his income up, and he realizes he's going to be become one of the 1% in the country, but he also finds out there's some consequences that go along with being in the 1%, some unexpected consequences. I like this film. It was very short, but it still told a decent story, got his point across, and then got out the door, and I liked that. It shows you don't need a full, whole length of time to tell a story, and it's topical. You know, we're still in this class debate of the 1% versus 99%, so it's topical, and short, and still entertaining for the little bit of time that we actually get to see it on screen. So, I, I give props to Night of the 1% percent for being uh, just this quick little short uh, to make a point and and I really like that about it. Uh, and th then another film, the other film that I want to talk about is Director's Cut. Uh, this film was written by Claire Fluff Llewellyn and directed by Christopher Collar and uh, they also did a lot of other work behind the scenes and basically we're told of the story of Damon Igmar Jakov who wants to make a film. He's making an independent film. It's going to be the next big blockbuster and he wants boobies in it. He wants movies in it. Well, be careful what you wish for. He gets his collection of actresses together for this independent film that's going to be the next epic. And one of the actresses he thinks is going to play the perfect role for his demoness character. And he doesn't realize just how perfect of a role she actually is. And when he starts wishing things, uh, things do start happening, but not like he expected or even intended to or even realized that he was doing I like Director's Cut. It was an interesting spin on the whole idea of, uh, you know, getting what you wish for, you know, and having it having consequences. I, I liked that idea. Now, it's a comedy horror film. There's plenty of comedy in here along with the horror uh, elements to it. And I like that. It was a good mixture in there. The, the effects in here are great. There is some blood and gore in here, so that's always well done. And the, the director, though, the character they got, uh, the actor playing him is Happy Dave. This guy embodied every bad awful thing you ever heard about any director ever was packaged into the director Damon character and played by Happy Dave and I loved this character. I loved to be annoyed by this character. I, he was humorous and at the same time you wanted to throttle him. So you know I just I really liked that character and the other characters in here do well. Uh, the actresses playing the different kind of stereotypes of actresses and Claire Fluff Llewellyn playing the dark uh, you know the mysterious kind of actress loved her role as well. Everybody does very well in this. The editing and uh, music to this is top notch. Well put together for a low budget independent film. Overall, Director's Cut I really did enjoy. I, I think uh, the audience will too at the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. And I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the list of the Best of Fest nominees. And until next time folks, keep that ticket stuff.